Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel VBA video, we are going to continue our discussion on the variable types and uh, see that how can we remove the drawback of the uh, variable declaration that we looked about in the previous video. In the previous video, we know that uh, in Visual Basic, we can actually use a variable that is not yet declared or we can declare a variable in Visual Basic, but not use at all. And Visual Basic would not throw us any error. So this is the piece of code, which is from the previous video. Here you can see the variable A is declared, but it is not used anywhere in our code. While a variable named V is used, but it is not declared anywhere. So to remove this drawback, uh, what do we have in Visual Basic is something known as option explicit. So option explicit is um, basically a combination of two keywords option and explicit. But if you just write this statement as the first statement in Visual Basic, then what would it do? It would provide a method through which this discrepancy could be removed. Okay. So whenever you are in a module, and you are going to use the variables, then it is advised that the first thing that you must do is write the statement option explicit. So let's just write it. Option put a space and explicit. As soon as you press enter, you can see these both words are turned into blue, which means that yes, Visual Basic recognizes it as the set of keywords and these statements have a predefined meaning in visual basic then you can see it has added a line that means it has separated our sub procedure from this option explicit now after writing this option explicit if we try to run our piece of code then we get an error that variable is not defined we have got a variable named as v which is not defined so we are not able to execute the piece of code in which a variable that is not declared but has been used so do uh, remove this kind of error we have to declare the variable as v now if we just try to run this piece of code then what happens it's running perfectly fine so that's how it works okay using the option explicit statement uh, it would uh, give you an error whenever you are like uh, using a variable but you are not declaring it so that's how it works so uh, in the previous video, we also saw an interesting thing that uh, if the variable v is right now a string variable, we have used that value as string, then it could be uh, just changed to anything else. Like now it is integer with the integer value. And now it is Boolean in Visual Basic with a Boolean value. So that is possible in Visual Basic. But uh, that is only possible if you just write this statement as dim v but uh, you have not specified any particular data type for your variable. So you need to specify the data type for your variable when you are declaring it to lock it into that particular data type. So how can you specify that particular data type? Suppose I have uh, written dim v, then I put a space and you have to write this keyword as which is basically a keyword in Visual Basic. And as soon as you press space, you can get all these options. So these are basically the different things in uh, which the variable can be defined as. Like you can see this kind of an icon shows its data type. It could be defined as a byte. It could be defined as a Boolean over here if I want to define it as a string value. So you can see as soon as I press str, you can see string is what is a possible data type with this kind of an icon. So yes, I want to uh, specify a string value for v. Now the data type of the variable v is locked as a string, which means it can only hold a string value. And if I try to just change the column name from c to d, that is c3, d3, uh, sorry, d3, d4, and d5, and I try to run this piece of code. Now let's just move uh, in a step by step fashion. V equals hello world, which is a string value. And we have defined the variable type of V as a string, which is perfectly fine. So it would run D3 would have the value of hello world. Now what we are do uh, going to do is assign a string, uh, an integer value that is 80 to a string type of variable, which is V. And if we try to execute this statement, then you can see that there is no error. It gets 80 
it gets this it gets everything there is no problem in this okay now instead of string if we just define any other type say integer okay so what happens let's just execute it in a uh, just stepwise fashion and we get the error on the first line that is type mismatch error uh, which is after the execution of this first line the reason being we have declared as an integer but we are trying to access a string value to it but this type of uh, an error or this type of a discrepancy was not shown when we declared the type of v as a string because whenever we uh, just declare something as a string and we provide any value to it like we provided ad we provided false so what did visual basic do it implicitly converted this at into string which means at was not stored as a simple at instead it was stored as a string value of at and simply the false was stored as a string value of false like this in the variable v and the variable v was uh, able to access it as a string value instead of the boolean and the integer values but this type of uh, conversion is not possible with any of the other data types like as soon as i declared v as an integer data type i got an error on the very first line that this is a type mismatch error which means that my data type is integer but i'm providing it with a string value so that is something that is beyond comprehension for visual basic and that's why it has thrown this error to just um, remove this error what you can do is either just omit this statement or you can uh, just declare v as a string value so in order to use this feature of visual basic in which you can just toggle between these different data types there are two options either you just declare don't declare a variable at all or if you declare a variable you just declare it as simple dim statement without specifying its data type and if you want to specify its data type then you need to specify its data type as string okay so that's how you can work with it that's how it works and there is one more thing suppose you want to just uh, use these different variables suppose i just write integer here and uh, i declare multiple variables like i put a comma dim v comma a as integer then what happens is uh, i just write some other statement like uh, in a i want to store the value as 70 and i want to show it in the cell e6 okay e6 will hold the value of a and here also let's just change it to e everywhere okay and let's run it then you can see that there is no error means this first statement is executed holding the value of v as a string then holding the value of v as integer holding the value of v as boolean and then this was um, run holding the value of a as an integer but you might be wondering that we declared v and a both as integers and how it is possible that we get hello word to be executed without any error the reason being when you are using this statement then what happens is this data type is the data type of only the last variable which means that a is an integer but v is not having any data type in visual basic so if you want to just uh, see it practically what you can do is simply use this a and try to access a string value like i want to access excel and try to just um, print it in e7 the value of a which is now a string so if we try to run it then you get a type mismatch error and if you try to see where you get it you get it on line where a has the value as excel so this is what happens only the last variable gets logged with this data type while the other variable does not logs with the data type you can specify as many variables using this comma as you want but it would not be logged with a data type if you want to lock it then you have to just uh, declare the variables in different lines like dim v as integer then dim a as integer and so on you have to use those different dim statements for as much variables as you want to access so that is also a convention that is also a rule that you need to follow in visual basic 
so that is all about the variables in visual basic and um, i hope you all have enjoyed it that's all we need to know about the variables and this wraps up our topics of variables in vba thanks for